energy, keep your energy away from me. I find myself saying that to my exes, ex-friends, and all the relationships that I've been in in my life that I am no longer in. But there's something called energy attachments, and that's where that person's energy will attach to yours, and vice versa. And when it attaches to you, it leaves deep roots within your body. And that's why it's difficult to release some people from your life when you really want them out of your life. And that's why today I am doing an energy cord release meditation. And I hope you join me. Now find you a nice comfortable position where you will not be disturbed. <laughs> and just get into it. So you can either sit down, lay down, Sit in a chair, whatever is more comfortable with you. And as you sit down, just close your eyes and breathe in and release a big sigh out of your mouth. Ah. <laughs> and let's do that again. Breathe in your nose and release a big sigh out of your mouth. Ah. <laughs> and one more time, breathe in your nose and release out of your mouth. Ah, just releasing all of that tension that's stored away within the body. Now just focus on your breath. Breathe in your nose and breathe out your mouth. Breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> and just imagine yourself out in nature, surrounded by plants and trees that are so green and flourish with flowers and you have birds singing around you maybe some butterflies flying around you the butterflies mean transformation so we're transforming other people's energies that has attached to us into mother earth today breathe in and breathe out and it's okay to release these energies even if you're still involved with this person and you love this person energies need to be separated so we will not feel the other person's pain or anger now inhale through your nose expand your stomach into a big balloon and exhale now imagine this person that you would like to release today right in front of you it can be a family member that you love dearly someone who's passed over or even an ex who pretty much screwed you over and imagine this person sitting right in front of you and breathe in and breathe out now look at this person and tell this person what you left unsaid. Breathe in and breathe out. It can be something good. It can be how they treated you and you never spoke up for yourself. It could be that this person didn't listen to you. Or it could just be a final goodbye to someone. And you could just tell this person you love them and you'll always love them. Breathe in. And breathe out. <sighs> breathe in. And breathe out now this person sitting in front of you has an energy cord attached to them into you and you may can see it and feel it and it's somewhere on your body it can be over your whole body or it can just be a tiny little cord attached to maybe your heart space or your stomach even your knees, which is your stability. 
into your head. Maybe they got into your head. And breathe in and breathe out. Now find this cord and just grab this cord with your hands as close as you can to your body. It may seem a little silly, but trust me, it will work. <laughs> and as you hold on to this cord, look this person in the eyes and tell them thank you. Tell them thank you for coming into your life. Thank them for teaching you a lesson. Thank them for teaching you to be strong and to love yourself. And thank them for leaving your life because you're a better person without them. And then tell them that you love them and have a nice life filled with love and peace because what we send out to the universe comes back to us. And as you breathe in, hold tightly into the cord. And as you breathe out, just pull the cord out. And when you pull this cord out, you may can see the roots just hanging in your hand. Now plug the roots into Mother Earth so this person cannot attach back to you or anyone else and just let it go and let Mother Earth take it over. Now bring your hand, your right hand, and put it over wherever the wound is and your left hand on top. Hmm. And as you breathe in, send yourself love. Lots of love. <laughs> and send this space where the wound was, the energy attachment, healing. Breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> and as you breathe in and breathe out, it heals. And this person is no longer able to put that cord back to you. Hmm. And thank yourself for letting this person go, even if it was a good person in your life. Because they have to be free too, and you have to be free to live your life. And anytime you feel that you're thinking about this person, it usually means this person is thinking of you. And that's when we come back to this energy cord release and disattach it. So we can be free to live our life with our own energies and they can be free to live their own lives. And if you look upon you, in front of you where the person was sitting, you may can see that that energy cord that's attached to Mother Earth has grown into a magnificent, beautiful tree. A tree filled with apples, the tree of knowledge. Because that's exactly what the relationship was about. Breathe in, and then breathe out. <laughs> and know you can always come back to this place and use your visualization to release the cords from this person. And as always, I'm Chassie. I'm about to go and celebrate for releasing these energy cords to my exes and ex-friends. <laughs> I love you all. Rise above and love. Namaste.